Hi guys, I'm Emma and this is my sewing channel, so do Emma. I've got another chatty, make chatty vlog today. I'm all full of chat after being quiet for a week. So here goes, second day in a row of full of chat. So yes, um, grab yourself a cuppa, get comfy. I'll get that couple of them before I start rolling the tape. Um. So, I've got a few bits and pieces that I want to talk about. Because I feel like I've got all the plans for March. And March is seriously going before my eyes and I'm now starting to really, really panic. Yes. So this is why it's called I Have The Plans. I have plans. I have the plans. I got a plan. I think that's one, that's one. I've got my notepad right here so first off the challenges this is why I'm a wee bit mangled in the head at the moment I think I've um, decided to go for all three main challenges in March year last year so recreate was in June July I think um that's fine we had a pandemic most of us weren't doing that much anyway, so that was fine. But now it's been moved to March, I'm like, what the actual? But then again, I didn't have So Yellow for Endo last year, though. So between So Yellow for Endo, So re Recreate the Look, and So Frugal, I've, I really have to get a bodge on and start cutting out putting patterns together and sewing do does do daddy so i got a plan right the lola racer top is going to be out of this and this is for so recreate the look <laughs> um i'll pop a I'll pop a picture in of my illustration board. I have a few of these and I keep adding to my Pinterest board. I will pop the link in below for my Pinterest board if you want to go and have a look. But yeah, this is like, I'm all about this colour in um, green at the moment. I have no idea, but I am absolutely blooming smitten about it. So... So this is going to go with, with a green fabric, which I'm just going to go and get right now without trying to kill myself tripping over stuff, okay? Just hold on. So this and this, oh, check that out. Uh, Lola Racer tank top from Stay Stitch Pattern. And this is going to be the... I think the Chandler pants, I've not twirled them, I think they'll be okay, we'll wait and see, otherwise I will sort of probably back out of that and try something different <laughs> for trousers, but I'm going to go for trousers, um, I want, I would go maybe for the Celine Cavots by Stay Stitch Patterns, but they're, for this image, I think they're going to be too, they're going to be too wide because clots are wide. So I want to get one of my trouser patterns that I'm fairly chuffed with or I might just start from scratch and just do a real quick twirl and see how I go um, with the Chandler trousers. So I think that would be working quite well with these. So that is my sole recreate look and then I'll try and stand like the model. We'll see, we'll see. So, 
Next is So Frugal and I'm going to go for my linen mix. I think this is a linen cotton mix. This was from So Crafty Dunfermline, a lovely little sewing studio come shop. Um, the shop has fabrics, wool, all sorts of stuff for your crafty, crafty obsessions. And it's situated in Dunfermline Town Centre. So if you need me about it, a really good shop. Plus, um, Aileen, the owner, who run and runs it, um, she has made sure that this shop is really accessible. So, if you find it hard getting round, you will find this a dream to get around because she's made sure that there's ramps going right through the shop and stuff like that. So, that's really, 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 really good. So that's good. Um, I think I'm not quite sure how the studio is working. I think they've still got a main door from the side door, um, as well as stairs from the shop. So there's two ways of getting in and out. So that is good. But anyway, I'm I'm off on a tangent. Sorry. So this is going to be the Francis top as well. I know that I've said about this pink one. I might even cut it out at the same time, so you might see both. Oh. Um, th this will be a Francis top as well as this one. So I might just do both at the same time and get that done. So maybe two or three entries. On top of that, I really want to... Where the heck? be back again. As you can tell I'm super organised about this. I'm going to shut the door. <laughs> so this is the cotton that I was talking to you about now. It's got a lovely little texture of um, roses or flowers and it's kind of got a waffle thing. So this is going to be the peppermint pocket skirt. Um, yeah. It's been like that for a while and I really want to do it. So it would go really well with this, the Francis top. And also this Francis top. Oh, oh, oh. And if I mix it up, there. there's something else that I'm missing but we'll come back to that and um, I think I'm doing pretty well for the challenges so you've seen this one before this is for so yellow for endo hosted by the lovely Jess um so what if I so um and this is yellow denim and this is going to be a puppy pinafore. The puppy pinafore has now been extended by Jennifer Lauren Hamid. So, yay, I'm going to purchase the extension sizes for a smaller fee than regular. If you've already got the, the original version. So, yes, that's going to be pepper pinafore. So I've got a lot of cutting out, so I'm going to try and get on with that this week and start sewing up on notions and everything. I went into Hobby Craft because ooh, ooh, they, sent, they sent me a voucher of like, um, if I use it before a certain time and I've got a fiver off. So I went in and I got, sorry Russell, I got needles pins i like these and i like the prim pr the prim glass headed ones as well and um, i've got a packet here that's the prim ones that i like as well 
So normally if I see these, I try and get them in, in the shop just to keep me top. And then I got loads of different, loads of colours. I didn't have any fabric with me to like sample the colour to the threads. So I got black, blue, a couple of blue navy, um, greens, a couple of green, different green ones because I'm sewing a lot of green. Um, yeah, and I've got quite a few pinks and lilacs and stuff as well so I can maybe get something that's really 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 similar um to the fabrics that I've got anyway so I'm not too worried about that I just wanted to stock up particularly on black and white and navy so I've got loads of threads um spent more than a fiver actually spent more than a tenner it came up to around about 20 quid um including the voucher so yeah i was like oops so but the threads were on discount so i'm not quite sure i didn't see they were like 215 and then at the tell it was 183 per thread so no idea no idea but I was just watching Brie Michelle made the latest video. I'll pop a tag up here. I think I think that's right. There or there. Um to her most recent video. Um yeah, she said something about the Paddington top and I so have a few other vloggers and I kinda want to put that on my pile the Paddington top so that'll go really well with the skirt yeah another frugal yeah and um, it will also go very well with with camera camera movement sorry um, it will go very well with trousers. Some are loving. So yeah, I've got quite a bit to cut out. On the subject of new, I have got a couple of fabrics. I forgot to tell you about this a while ago, but I got this um, not in the most recent sale or drop um it was a couple of drops ago and um, from rainbow fabrics kilburn it's a lovely viscose when i saw it i was like gotta have it gotta have it. yeah that's mine so i think i got about four meters i can't help it and i think this is gonna be a davenport dress without doubt so that was from Rainbow. I think it sold out within. It was, yeah, it was quick, this drop. Like many of the drops, but I saw it and I was like, that's mine. So I got four metres. I think it's going to be a day from Port Dress. Unless I really want to fa try the Tamden dress by, by Hand London. And then they just released the Flora dress um, as well. And that's been extended sizes now. The, the Flora dress by, by Han London has been like my most favourite since I found them. Um, as well as the Anna dress, which has been extended for a while. But now the Flora dress goes up to size 38 i think if i'm right hopefully i put in a card here for you um yeah so i'm um, just absolutely gorgeous stunning stunning colors oh it's not really it's a summery it's quite wintry i feel like lots of jewel tones but oh oh so yeah Okay, and would you believe it? I, I did not think this was coming. I thought um, she'd shut up shop and that was it. And that was quite sad. But 
Rachel of So Totally Me. Sorry, I'm just putting back from the back. Kind of fell. Rach Rachel of So Totally Me has come back with a shop online. And she was doing a wee cheeky wee discount for So so recreate the look something like that or is that ever so recreate the look and i saw this now i have been humming and hawing over this lady mckelroy dot dotty white dots and um, viscose shelly for absolutely yonks excuse me the sun is blinding me and I can't see I can't see myself on screen. Okay. Um <laughs> uh, so I decided to go with the green. I've got something about green at the moment. Also it's meant to be quite a hot colour as well as lilac. Um lilac I think is more spring hot colour. But emerald green is meant to be hot colour at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking of making the style arc bell dress. The Macaws 7969. Beautiful dress. This was a really good match for a French poetry dress. Hopefully I'm putting the images in here. Um, and when I said, when I was doing the size me, by my size or something like that, um, on Instagram, um, I matched the McCall's dress up, but then a style act released the bell dress and I was like, brilliant, better size inclusive, um, goes all the way up to size 30 and I was like, Amazing, and then uh, very recently, Sewn by L um, has done a lovely yellow version, and I was like, "Well, looks like I've got to join the belt club now." So I was thinking, three meters of this beauty would make an absolutely belted of a bell. Now, I am thinking of putting white buttons. But I might go and have a wee look at pigeon bushes. Because you know that I like wee, I like pigeon bushes buns. So I might just go and do that. Um, and get some something like a pearly moon. I think there's a moon one. I'll pop pictures in there. So it might go quite nice with that. Not too stark white. But it just it, like iridescence. I think I've got the right word there. So, hope you've enjoyed your cuppa, this matter, and I'll let you get on with your rest of your day. I will definitely be back this week, maybe once, for sure with the overlocker video that might come at the end of this week. We'll see how it plans. Um, I'm aiming for it to be up on the Saturday, but in between, I will have another video up as well, just so it it keeps going. Um, I have promised a little happy dance, so I'm going to put that in right now to celebrate 1,000 viewers, subscri subscribers, like I did say on my community tab, so I will definitely do a happy dance right now. enjoyed that <laughs> uh yeah i have to be fun on here you know so anyway hope you've had a good weekend hope you've enjoyed that little video and i'm going to leave you go on if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching a few of my videos and you've been enjoying the content go on hit that subscribe button 
go on, this good thing is coming. Be on that note.